AITA for telling off my Phil after he asked about my weight post giving birth? Okay so I am a week postpartum and quite tired and in recovery. My Phil is a retired doctor. A GP to be precise. He is generally a kindly man and we haven't had issues the 10 years I've been with my husband. When I was in the third trimester, I noticed he made a lot of unwarranted and unsolicited comments with regards to my condition. For instance, I had gestational diabetes. He seemed to disagree with the advice of my highly regarded endocrinologist then he asked me when I was getting induced into labor and said I should be induced at 38 weeks because of my GD age and that my placenta could degrade and result in stillbirth. I found that incredibly insensitive and told my husband that if he says one more thing about my body and our birth choices, which are entirely conventional, by the way, I ended up going into spontaneous labor right on 40 weeks and had a smooth delivery. I would have a word with him. Today he came to visit the baby. He asked me if I've started exercising yet. Both my husband and I were surprised and said no and my husband added that I needed bed rest. On the advice of both my OB and physio, my physio advised half an hour on my feet per day, building it up gently and going for small walks with intense exercise from six weeks. Phil said he disagreed. Okay, then he asked me if I've been weighed yet. That threw us both for a loop. We didn't know why that would matter. Not that it should matter but I'm a petite woman and have always been skinny. I look appropriate for one week postpartum. Then he said I should be careful about diabetes down the line. My husband asked him what that had to do with my weight and he said well you should look to getting back in shape. I saw red. I told him to keep his nose out of my body and that I already had a team of doctors looking after me. And he wasn't one of them. He said I'm coming from the point of a concerned Phil. I replied that's even more inappropriate and that any more unsolicited comments I would consider not allowing him in my house. He looked taken aback but apologized, mumbling about concern and then left. He has a history of depression and looked very sad when he departed, which made me doubt myself. AITA? NTA. Even if he meant well, the questions were incredibly invasive inappropriate, and frankly none of his business. As long as you're listening to your doctors, your Phil shouldn't be trying to insert his opinion into your recovery plan. Congrats on the new addition to your family. NTA. He may be a doctor, but he's not your doctor. Just keep telling him that you are not his patient, and that you don't want unsolicited advice. He said I'm coming from the point of a concerned Phil. He's just trying to exert control where he has no authority to do so. I'd tell him to bugger off until he can treat you with kindness and respect. NTA The only things I wanted to hear anyone say after I gave birth is do you need anything from the grocery store? Can I do your laundry and all you have to do it reheat this in the oven for 20 minutes at 325? degrees. Yikes. Phil needed to be put in his place. His comments were entirely inappropriate. It makes me wonder about his bedside manner with his patients. NTA. NTA. So you're supposed to put his happiness above your own? Your postpartum last thing you need is postpartum depression. He can keep his comments to himself or he can stay home. Oh lord a GP thinking he knows better than your endocrinologist and OB. NTA. NTA that is so sexist and out of line for him to make comments like that. Nah I understand some of this is invasive. Insensitive and unwarranted and you are well within your rights to convey that respectfully. I. Don't think he meant to be rude or insensitive especially if he has a history of mental health issues. As for inducing at 38 weeks on account of GD, 
My highly regarded Obgen had the same view not so far back in 2019 the baby size can get bigger. Due to extra glucose floating around in the system and there can be other complications. I was still able to deliver my first baby naturally. Although doctor was clear she was not going to wait beyond 38 weeks. While my second was CSEC due to being a breech baby. Similarly, his fears for diabetes later are not unfounded. Moms with GDM have higher likelihood of contracting diabetes later in life and extra weight can become a catalyst that being said. Nobody wants to hear weight-related concerns unless asked for. Least of all, a new mom. Keep your distance and space until Phil understands boundaries. NTA. But I disagree with a lot of comments saying his intent was malicious or controlling. I genuinely think he may be trying to help in the way he feels he can the best or at least. Without further context I can't say his intentions were bad. The way you implied that you and your husband were surprised makes me feel like this isn't normal. Behavior from him. Everyone likes to feel like their professional opinion is worthwhile and desired. But he pushed too far. I don't think you're tough for telling him to stop. But I do think it could have been done in a more gentle way if he was genuinely just being overly vocal with unsolicited advice. To his credit. He also seemed to have genuine reasons for his comments too. Not just, hurry up and lose the baby weight so you'll be nice and housewife shaped, or some drivel. Like that. NTA. He was completely out of line in his comments about your weight and he really should have left you. Alone with his medical advice when you were pregnant. I don't blame you for getting mad and telling him to leave. Nah, I'm a type 1 diabetic myself. And unfortunately a lot of what your Phil said is true. Diabetics can have issues with their placenta in pregnancy. And are almost always induced early to avoid complications. Secondly, many people who have GD go on to having type 2 diabetes later in life. It's sort of a risk factor, warning. Now your Phil was never asked for his opinion. And I can absolutely understand your feelings of wanting him to shut up. He is in a weird position though. He has. Correct. Medical knowledge and is sharing it because I think he cares about you and feels an urge to say. Something. Sort of a damned if you. Damned if you don't sort of situation. NTA. He doesn't need to be your doctor. But. You could have set boundaries a little sooner and with more gentleness. It probably came from genuine care for you and wanting to be useful. NTA. I'm so proud of you for setting and holding to boundaries. If he has hurt feelings. You are not responsible for managing his feelings. My opinion is he was worried about you. Your baby. His son. All of it. With depression all the bad stuff that can possibly happen jumps to the forefront and he may feel scared for you. Maybe feeling helpless in a huge event in his son's life. Trying to help. Give advice may be outdated. Maybe not. Who knows. Maybe I'm entirely wrong about the motivation. Definitely poorly chosen timing and words. Getting a one week postpartum woman worrying about her weight? I'd give him a smack. But I'd also give him the benefit of the doubt. Especially since you've had a good relationship up till this. Congratulations on your new baby. Maybe head me out. He's seen you for 10 plus years now you all never had issues before this him being a GP maybe he. Noticed something. I would ask him why is he concerned does he think something is wrong? Maybe he thinks you're sick? He might just be concerned. It sounds like y'all have had a decent relationship for a decade. Your Phil I think meant well even if it came across as insensitive. Gestational diabetes can be a big problem. Most women return to normal glucose levels postpartum. But if you had gestational diabetes, there is a high rate, 50% or higher, where diabetes returns as type 2. You don't want that to happen. 
I would look at his comments as concern. He has been there, done that and knows what could be down the road for you. Wow thank you for all the comments and I'm so sorry that with a newborn I don't have time to individually reply cold sweat smile thank you especially for the kind words and empathy. For some more information, my gestational diabetes was very well controlled and the baby had no blood sugar issues when born. I'm an active person and even continued with a weekly CrossFit class until 38 weeks. With safe adjustments, my delivery was smooth but yes I had a few stitches from tearing. Three nights ago the sleep deprivation caught up with me and I had an epileptic seizure which was quite violent. I banged my head on the wooden floor a few times and did a little damage to the healing area as well as my back. My physio therefore advised me to take it slow and only be on my feet to exercise for 30 minutes. The medication given to me temporarily to boost my base dose of regular anti-seizure medication is also a sedative. I still get up and do things but I'm back resting pretty quickly. This is our first kid in the pregnancy. Delivery and recovery was no joke. Dot the whole thing felt like an extreme sport tears of joy. We are in Australia so my husband has three months parental leave and the support from him and my family has been fantastic. I also am on leave. My Phil has not retained his license and I agree that his work was a big part of his personality. He called up before to apologize and said he will stay away from giving any medical advice or comments so I am feeling a lot better about things and drawing a line under this saga. Unless there are some unusual medical indications. Half an hour on your feet per day. Building up. Is ridiculous. Lack of activity puts you at greater risk of postpartum embolism. Your Phil asking about your weight and specific exercise is rude and out of order. He is correct that gestational diabetes needs follow-up. NTA. DRs are known for being insensitive. I will say though, depending on your age what he said about stillbirth and aging placenta is true as per my ob to me. Age 40 and pregnant. He gave me a study on it and strongly advised 38 weeks and absolutely no later than 39. He also mentioned stillbirth and was fairly adamant that this risk was to be taken seriously. And gestational diabetes often means you're at increased risk of diabetes later. Please do your research before discounting this information. This should have been told to you by your doctor already. Pretty sure my doctor told me to start walking as soon as I felt up to it. I wonder if your Phil is telling you these things more out of concern. Insensitive of course. But maybe he thinks your DRS are not going their job well enough and thinks he should speak up? Saying this as you have had no issues in the past with him. I think he is insensitive. But likely only out of real concern. Maybe you can talk to him or write a note to him or have your husband do that. No one likes to hear negative health advice but it is important sometimes and DRS mess up all the time and do not give the right advice. Maybe your Phil knows more than you think. Just being a retired GP and all. And likely many years of all sorts of experience. Would you prefer to be in the dark about certain health risks? Imagine if something terrible happened and your Phil did not tell you what he knows about the placenta. I am in the minority here. But please listen to me. Many DRS do not do a great job. They are busy and they make mistakes. Your Phil only wants good things for you and baby and is far less likely giving you bad advice. I think you need to apologize TBH. His advice is life-saving. Absolutely NTA. He may be a GP but you are not his patient and never asked for his input. He has not been treating you and as such it is highly inappropriate for him to disagree with your doctors. He needs to stay in his lane. I would be seeing red too. Do not apologize to him. He owes you the apology and then his silence. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.